We head to Auto Club for one more time for the penultimate race of the season, where we will find out who will head into Homestead with a shot at the Corsair Pro Series Championship. On the pole for today's event is Justin Zidell in the one, and starting to his outside is Chaser Evan Hunter, third in points. Third is Code Red, fourth is Adam McDowell, rounding out the top five is Carter Friesen. The rest of the qualifying results on the left side of the screen. They're trying out a new grippier tire for today's race. So we'll see how that goes. Pace car goes in, getting set for 38 laps around Auto Club Speedway. Here we go. Green flag is out. We're racing in California. Zydell leads through turns one and two and down the back stretch. He's got code red, hard charging right on his tail, though. Going to turn three. Red will go to the inside. As they head into the front stretch for the first time to lead lap number one, it will be Zydell. And right here is usually the trouble area, but it shouldn't be as much of a problem as it was before. As you see, they get through clean, and now Tyler Fink is trying for the lead. They stay side by side, Code Luigi might challenge it three wide, and Fitzwater might take it four wide down on the bottom. Really shows how many grooves this track has. This worn out surface. As to the line, it was Code Luigi, but Fitzwater is going to take it away in turns one, and Shepard is going to go to the inside in turn two, Wallace Jr. is going to take it to the inside down the back stretch. They go three wide for first, but Wallace Jr. is going to fall off, he has a lack of help on that inside lane. Now he's going to try again, he's got Roger Ray behind him. And that's going to push him to the lead. That time it was Shepard. Oh, they're wrecking in the back. It's Hunter. So third in points. A heartbreaker for Evan Hunter. He most likely will not go into Homestead with a shot. But there's still a lot of race left. As they come to the line to lead them back to the caution, it will be Stephen Wallace Jr. So let's see what happened to Evan Hunter. He's the only car to spin. I just want to get in a hole that wasn't there. How can we don't see this happening as often as we did before? But unfortunately, it's still a problem. It's taken out someone in contention for the championship. Well, not yet. He just has high, uh, side damage. So he'll be slow, but he can still bank on a lot of the cars actually wrecking out of the race or getting more significant damage than him. So it's Steven Wallace Jr. who led them to the caution flag. Roger Ray right behind him, his MWR teammate of Riley Snare in third, Zachary Delello fourth, and Jurakowski sits in fifth. We'll be restarting with 30 laps to go at Auto Club. And the green flag is back out. Here comes the 55 down to the bottom already. I was going to say the 56, his teammate is going to help him, but he's going to go to the outside. 
with Stephen Wallace Jr. Now he switches back to the inside, but the 32 already there, and he might even make it three wide down the bottom. Wallace is known to have bad luck at California. He's flipped twice out of the last three times we've been here. Now he looks to the lead. Fitzwater behind him. Now he's under him. Halleck is going to move Fitzwater out of the way. He's your defending winner at this racetrack. One when the weather conditions weren't ideal and weren't really usual for Southern California weather. It was cloudy and humid instead of dry and hot. So they made the, the racetrack single groove. It was the 15 who was able to hold him off for that race. But right now, it's Mathis Wells in the 36. He's doing a good job of holding off Fitzwater, who stays right behind him for now. He'll peek to the inside. He runs a lower lane. And he'll get him. On the front stretch they go. There's you see Rakowski back there trying to pass Halleck. Halleck might make a dive bomb move. He will. To the inside. Three wide goes Halleck. And he's going to take the lead away. Well, not quite. You see there that he has no help. And the outside lane does. So the nine is going to be able to pull away. And where's your points leader? Thompson making his way up front, but his rival, Christian Russell. Oh, something happened to him! Dude, this pack has lost the draft, or Russell has had a problem. Either way, he might not be in contention to win this if it goes green. Let's take a look at his card, see if it has any damage. I don't think he wrecked. Yeah, he doesn't have side damage from what it looks like. So maybe his. His pack has just lost the draft, I don't know, but this is big implications for the championship battle because Keegan Thompson right now is looking to be top five in a few seconds here. Actually, he's going to take it four wide for a second, it looks like. But Orman is going to go under him. Or not quite. But can anyone catch Wells? Oh, they're going to run to the back of the 39. I think they might have saved it. Jefferson keeps going on. That's the second caution of the race. And Keegan Thompson is going to get third. And Wells will lead him back. So there's Joe Jefferson going around. See how it happened. Yeah, I was just staying on his uh, front tire. Luckily, once again, it's just a single car spin. Unlike the, the wrecks we've been seeing that have taken out many of cars. And the frequency of them ultimately led to around half the field being out of the race every time we went here. 
instead of that, we've just got two cars off the pace. So right now, Wells, Wallace Jr., Thompson, Shepard, and Ormond are your top five, and they will be leading them to the restart. So here we go, back green. Nine. Just got 19 to go. Thompson will look to the inside as well. He's got a big jump on the restart. Trying to continue his domination. Shepard is going to try and help his fellow Ford. But now he goes to the inside of him. And Wells is going to lead this lap as well. Can Thompson get in front of Wallace Jr.? He will. So he'll have the draft coming into turns one and two. But now he goes wide that time, leaving room for Wallace Jr. And now Ray is going to take it to the bottom, side by side with Shepard. And even three wide if you count Thompson on that outside lane. And that caution was what Russell needed. Looks like he could be back in shape to win. If he can just get uh, caught back up. Wells continues to lead. Shepard looking is for his first win since Chicagoland Season 1, I believe. So a very long winless streak for Aiden Shepard. He certainly wants to end this here while he has the shot. But it looks like Russell's pack is starting to lose the draft again. So I don't know if these cars just don't have what it takes compared to the rest of the field. It's very odd to see this. Yes, your 36 is, is still your leader. That's the 9 and the 99 battling back here. Now the 2 is going to take it to the bottom. Moves Fitzwater up the racetrack. And these guys continue to battle for a second, but they're forgetting about the lead. Jefferson almost taking it four wide to the bottom. Not giving help to the 55. Jefferson's still mathematically eligible to win this championship, but it's not likely. He's 47 behind, so he'll need a big points gain on Thompson if he wants to win. And right now, Thompson right now being uh, actually in the same area that Russell's in, so if Russell, did, he can just get a few points... Four to be precise. So if he just get four points ahead of Keegan Thompson, will be tied coming into the season finale. And it looks like despite being in the middle, also seems to be making his way through the field. But once again, it's Jay Jefferson who can win this race and get back into the con uh, contention for the championship as he's pushing Jack Halleck pretty strongly as Fitzwater your new leader he's th uh, he dethroned the 36 of Wells as look at them go five wide that's worrying but they make it work now it's Darney Gardner who's on the back bumper of Fitzwater he'll go to the inside this time
side by side to lead the lap as we come to 11 to go. They're still going at it. That's going to allow Halleck to get to the bottom. Jack Halleck trying to complete the sweep. Meanwhile, Russell has made his way inside. Thompson still stuck in the middle. Just a matter of who can get the good lanes. There's 10 laps to go at Auto Club. But Luigi down to the bottom. 56 lower. He'll get to the lead. The 55 behind him. Could he possibly take it three wide? Yes, he will. Through three and four. Rakowski runs lower. Can he try for this thing? I believe Russell has just passed Thompson. Once again, he just needs four points. They're making contact in the back. Halleck and Luigi. And that's like six wide. I don't even know how wide that is, but it's pretty worrisome back there. Five wide. Going down the back stretch. Fitzwater trying to retake his lead. Russell making his way up front, trying to get in position to win this thing. And the MWR teammates are going to take it three wide, put a stranglehold on Zachary Fitzwater Sr., who's now stuck on the outside. They're wrecking in the back. It's the 18, but is that going to bring out the caution? Looks like he saved it. It's not going to bring out the yellow. But this is going to split the field. Snare, your new leader. And in this pack of 10 or so, They're pulling away. Or actually, they've just, they've caught up already, so. This pack back here has already regained the draft. There's nothing to worry about there. Thompson inside. Russell has now been relegated to the outside. Just six laps remaining at Auto Club. Snare is still your leader. Russell, the dominant car today, trying to make his way up front. He's let the most laps. He gets his way to the inside, trying to pass Rakowski for second. The 93 to help. And now he pulls to the inside. It's still for second. Rakowski gets moved way up the track. 9, 55, 29, and 5. Four wide. Correspond the top five. Really dooring each other down the front stretch. As now Wells trying to take his lead back. Couldn't get it that time. He fouls in behind the 30 or the 56. But now he has the 93 below him. Not gonna be able to pass. And now look how many cars separate. Russell and Thompson, zero. They're both on the outside, so it'll be interesting on how this will work. But they're still side by side for the lead, with just four to go. Fitzwater might make his way to the inside, he will. Takes it way lower than Wells did. And Russell passes Thompson. And he has gone to the inside. It's just a matter of how many positions he can make up on Thompson. Three to go. Now Thompson. He might actually be in the better position here. Because I saw the 51 four wide. And in fact he's on the inside of him. Trying to pass. 
So Thompson has already made his way to the inside, but now it's Jefferson he has to worry about, a fellow chaser. And he moves up way up the racetrack. That might have been contact right there. Russell back to the outside. And they're both getting very few points as we go four wide for the lead, perhaps. Fitzwater gets a jump on the outside, so not quite. Fitzwater could have this race in hand. Unless one of these guys get a monster jump. Over the rest. And Thompson's back. Just shows how strong the shuffle is at Auto Club. As we come to one lap to go. Gardner looking to the inside of Gary Barlow. That might be it. No, he throws it way into two. But we're catching the lap car at Jefferson. This might shake things up. Here he comes. As they go down the back for the final time. How will this work? Jefferson and Fitzwater. Fitzwater is going to get by Jefferson. And off at turn number four, Zachary Fitzwater Sr. is your winner at Auto Club. So it looks to be a two-horse race coming to Homestead. Just going to calculate some points right now, actually. Thompson with 188 right now. He finished 17th. He gets 25. So I'll have 213 points ahead, or not ahead, I'll have 213 points, period. And the 51, where is he? 28th. So right now, Russell, 184. So 213 for Thompson. It'll be 15 points. Oops, I just dropped my phone. 15 points going into Homestead for Thompson and Russell. I'm pretty sure someone else finished pretty high and will be in it somehow mathematically, but it'll be a long shot. But it comes down to 15 points. So, Russell will have to find a way to finish a quarter of the field better than Thompson. Here are the finishing results. Zachary Fitzwater, I think, has his first win of the season. Johnny Gardner got second. Roger Ray, third. Abby Jacobs, fourth. And Zachary Fitzwater, senior, fifth. Aiden Shepard, sixth. Seventh was Justin Zidell, eighth. Dylan Herberminian, 9th, Joe Rakowski, and 10th, Mathis Wells. Already showed the rest of the finishing results, but there it is again. 41 cars on the lead lap. Joe Jefferson was the only one all lap down. He got lapped at the end. And uh, Hunter probably won't be in contention for this one. Legacy, probably not. Cobra, maybe. No. So, yeah. Just two cars to decide it. As we've got just one last race remaining. So kind of quick. Take a picture of the results. As we go straight on to Homestead. But first, let's take you guys to Victory Lane with the 9 of Zachary Fitzwater Sr.
Thank you for watching the Corsair Pro Series. We'll see you next time.